Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to harden the Windows login password policy as well as the account lockout policy on your Windows computer. So this will hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu and type in local security. Best result, you're going to go back with local security policy. Go ahead and open that up. And now underneath account policies, you want to go ahead and double click on that folder. And there should be a password policy folder in here. Go ahead and double click on that. Where it says enforce password policy, go ahead and double click on that. So if you want to enforce a password policy in here, you could select how many passwords you want to allow the computer to remember before it says that you're not able to use that password again. So that's basically just so you don't have to use the same password over and over again, so you can change that number to whatever you want. So that's one way you can modify this as well as adjusting the maximum or minimum password age as well as the maximum length and then if there's complexity requirements as well you can add those in here as well and again pretty straightforward you can see the explanation of what kind of complexity requirements Windows is referring to. So that would apply for the password policy and then you could also just go right down to the account lockout policy and then make the adjustments down here. Again, it's all very self-explanatory here. So for the account lockout duration, that would be applicable in the case that you are entering in too many invalid login attempts and you could enter any number in here for how many minutes you want to elapse between attempts. So you can set anywhere from zero to I believe 999 minutes. And then you have options to go down to the account lockout threshold of how many invalid lockout attempts are allowed before the account is locked out and an administrator would need to intervene. And you could also go down to reset account lockout counter after so many minutes have passed. So assuming the user has logged in successfully, you can have it just reset after so many minutes so that it doesn't lock out, you know, indefinitely. It's not like it's like an infinite lockout basically. So pretty straightforward process there guys on how to modify those settings. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.